The Irish Ace ready for a fight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. McDonough. J.D.'s recently proven very difficult to beat because of his incredible threshold for pain. Does this guy not freak you out? I mean, he signed an NXT Championship contract in blood. You know, disturbing with a, a quiet intensity, right? Ferocious thoughts that will turn to disturbing actions. Yeah, those disturbing actions include dismantling the human body, utilizing pressure points, joint locks, and ligaments that can tear tendon from bone. J.D. McDonough is a competitor who changes the landscape wherever he competes. Listen, he'll attack if he senses even the slightest fear or trepidation. Hey, J.D., J.D., fear and trepidation to my left. Look at Saxton. Quiet, Corey. We're about to see an air show. One of the best aerialists in WWE history. And his opponent from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! Ricochet, one of the great high flyers in WWE today. But, Corey, how would you compare Ricochet to the high flyers of the past? You can name some of the all-time greats in Rey Mysterio, Shawn Michaels, superstars who truly excelled in the sky, but none to the level that Ricochet has. I just love to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show because Ricochet is going to do something special here tonight. Before this match, Ricochet said he wants to be a beacon of hope, that there is no dream too big. Sometimes I think Ricochet says those kind of things less to convince others and more to convince himself. There's a constant confidence check going on in Ricochet's head. Look out! Oh, God! That was playing with fire and getting burned. The decision to take such a risk at this juncture is questionable. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. Ouch! Oh, no. Break his arm. Vicious. Three. Watch this Herculean power. Deadlift back suplex. Four. Oh. Five. Oh man, that'll bend your arm. Six. Double underhook. Butterfly suplex. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. He climbs back into the ring just in time. That was getting close. And JD's keeping the pressure on. Let's see what McDonough can do with the opportunity. You know, I guess the take on Ricochet means focusing all your attention on his aerial game. Yeah, but that would be a mistake. Ricochet isn't a guy who's all sizzle and no steak. He's a fundamentally sound athlete. He can throw hands, he can grapple, he just happens to excel in the air, second to none. Cover! He got the shoulder up in time. Kicking out now sends a very clear message. Looked like JD's focus got rattled there. Yeah, well, Ricochet can build up some confidence after that. Yeah. McDonough wasting no motion on the counter. <laughs> and JD gets out of the way. McDonough in a corkscrew roundhouse. An absolutely 
spine tingling move from McDonough. I think to get the pinfall, you have to try that maneuver one more time. Oh, stomping away. Heading up, he's thinking back. You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position. Blast off. And JD gets that turn back on him. Standing shooting star. Press incredible. Ricochet has the target right where he wants it. Oh, look at that. Stays on the corner. But can Ricochet close this? There's two. Ricochet did it. What a huge win. These gentlemen get after it. Here are the highlights. Here is your winner, Ricochet! He definitely got the job done tonight. It's always great to visit the pay window, but a victory like this makes the winner's purse all that much sweeter.